What we're going to do is we are going to mix our product. If you want to make sure your hands are washed, make sure you have a clean workstation or alcohol swab, 100 units or one mLs. So that's how you know mL versus unit. So we're going to put 1.5 mL of backwater into our product. That is 100 plus 50. So it's two poles out of the backwater. You're going to take off the caps of your backwater, take off the cap of your product. Those will just go in the garbage because you can't put them back on. They just stay like that. That's why every time you use them, you want to alcohol swab them. Go ahead and alcohol swab them. Pull a hundred out of here. So you're just going to tip it up, put your needle in and just pull it. Now, a lot of times I like to put air in it. So I'll pull out air and then I'll push air into the backwater and then pull it out. If that makes sense. Side, like put, just put it in and then do sideways like this. And then you're just going to kind of tip it down a little bit because you don't want to squirt the water straight into the, the powder. You want to kind of hit the, the side of it because their peptides are super sensitive. Come to find out. They don't like to be splashed with a bunch of water hard. You're just going to put it in like this and then you just kind of hold it right here. And then you, it should suck the water out of it. Medication off again on the top. I'm going to administer my GHKCU right now. I'll show you what it looks like to administer and then you can copy me. So I just clean it off again uh, and I always pull up to get air in there and then I inject air in and then pull the medicine. So you don't have to do that. It just makes it come out. Easy. So you're going to pull to the 25. You're going to get that air in there. And I'm actually taking 15 units of this one. Just make sure that there's no bubbles in there. And then you get it to 15 and pull it out. And then you guys are going to 25. Sorry, don't let me confuse you. My injection area. So I like to do it like right on my stomach. I, I go like two inches or so from my belly button usually. And then I just clean that part off. And you just gently poke it into your skin and it's super easy. Just get it all the way in. Like that. I just pushed it all the way in. It's just a tiny little needle. Shouldn't even make a mark. And then you just go slow and then pull it out and there's nothing easy peasy, but you want to track everything. So every week, writing it down on paper is probably a good idea too, but I put it into my calendar on my phone. A lot of information as the event. I put dose, uh, dose T for trisembatide. month one, dose one. Month one, dose two, month one, dose three. So that's kind of how I track it. And then I put my weight.